section B in our uh, lesson today uh, how to create activity list with uh, what we learn okay let's go and apply how to create uh, an activity list okay we want to create activity list here and let's say the first column we'll call it serial number then we have here activity name here activity duration here start date and finish date very simple activity list I can adjust the column here like this by dragging it can adjust the activity duration the start date and the finish date the first thing we'll do is to uh, format the table and prepare the table so I will make I'll select some cells and make format cells add border inside and outside then here I can format the alignment here also I can adjust the height of the row let's make it 30 instead of 15 and this header I will adjust it like this make it bold and fill it with yellow and I can make the border I change the border here border line I'll make it double line and that's it second thing we'll do to create the required formulas let's see what is the formula we need uh, in our uh, uh, activity the formula I need for I need only one formula here to calculate the activity duration so it will equal to finish minus the start and to drag the formula up to the end I'll come to the right corner double click or, or drag let's start adding some activities here I can drag the serial number and it will continue counting to the end so if we have a very small project what you could think the first activity is so let's say excavation excavation works then after the excavation work we have BC or plain concrete plain concrete for foundation then we have RC reinforced concrete foundation then we have <coughs> next after the column neck we have the slab oh, we have filling first we have uh, water roofing then filling then slab on grid then we have first our ground round 
floor columns and ground floor slab and then let's say it is one floor only uh, we have here my sonary work then we have here cluster works cluster work then we have floors ceramic walls ceramic we don't have painting works let's say this is our project let's see how to use the excel to uh, uh, make uh, some formula which will serve us as a planning engineers and let's see here leg let's put another column we'll call it leg Lag is the duration between activity A and activity B to start or to finish. For example, let's say that the excavation work uh, completion will allow the start of the plain concrete for foundation, but they should wait for 10 days for any reason. This is the lag. So I, I will make the lag here. If I want to apply the formula from this column, I'll select this column and then I'll click format painter and I will apply the same format to the other column okay now we have here the start date the finish date and the leg let's say the first activity first January 2013 then I'll format myself alignment sorry date I need the date to be my favorite format okay now we see here that the activity duration has a value and it give us a minus value so we want to fix this formula we will apply if con uh, if condition format so I will tell the Excel equal if this cell greater than zero so we have a compilation date then the value will equal to this cell minus the finish minus the start otherwise put it zero why I'm doing this because every time I'm putting a date here, it will calculate automatically from the default value in the finish date and, and give me some uh, unreasonable date. Let's say I put here 1 January again, 2013. See, this is what I'm talking about. Now, Excel are not, uh, will not wait for me until I put the finish date to make the, the calculation finish minus the start, so it will give me the activity duration. That's why I, I told the Excel to do some conditional format if this fill is this cell greater than zero then go and proceed and do your calculation otherwise keep it zero now I want to drag to apply this formula up to the end I can now double click this one because the other cells is not empty so just double click and it will be applied up to the end okay and I want to apply uh, the formula uh, the, the, the format here for the date so I'll copy the format and post it to everywhere okay let's finish date I make it this plus 30 days and you'll found here automatically that the Excel calculated the activity duration one of the things we need to format let's say I want this one uh, to be uh, in two lines the activity duration this word I want it to be in two lines so just I right click on it format cells and here from alignment I will check wrap text 
then okay now it will come into two uh, two rows or two words if the column widths will not fit uh, to be in one line so this one will be in two line the plain concrete will start will start af after the completion date of the excavation let's say the plain concrete duration 10 days this is the finished date whenever you see this dash it means that the column widths cannot fit the content so we'll just double click here to enlarge the column width a little bit RC concrete will start after the plain concrete and let's say it will take 15 days column neck will start after the RC and let's say it needs 10 days okay waterproofing will be will start after the completion date of the column neck but we need to wait for seven days to allow the column neck curing so let's boy put the leg here let's say seven days so this one equal this finish date plus seven days leg and it will take four days to be completed backfilling will start after one day let's say it will take 10 days slab on grade after the completion of the filling let's say one day and it will take ten days as well ground floor column after the slab on grid and let's say it needs five days now once I'm using this formula to uh, to calculate from the finish date for the above activity plus one so I can simply drag it up to the end and start putting here and I can make a uh, start putting here the completion date so the ground floor slab and I can make the opposite duration now. I can make the opposite uh, operation, sorry. I will move, I will delete the duration from here. And I will tell the Excel this completion date equal to the start date plus the duration. And let's see how it works now. If we say that the ground floor slab will take 15 days, so about 15 days, the Excel automatically will calculate the completion date and uh, which equal to the start date plus the original duration and will give the start date for the other activity and so on. Ground floor slab, masonry work. Masonry work, let's say it will take 10 days, but we need to put here a leg. We need to put here a leg for 14 days. We should wait for the concrete to be cured before we can start the masonry work so I'll put here plus this cell so even I finished in 4th May but I cannot start the masonry work in uh, the same date I have to wait 14 days like and we continue the plaster work 7 days Floor ceramic tiles, let's say seven days. All ceramic tiles, seven days. Painting work, 15 days. And now, as you can see here, I created a, a simple activity list. I used the benefit of the Excel 
to help me identifying the start finish and if there is a condition here uh, for the lag I put a conditional if uh, in, th in the in the activity duration I can here make a conditional format and make two colors between the low value and the high value low value make it green and red and let's say okay so it will give me indication about the the high highest value will get will going to the color of red the lowest value will go to the color of green and i can use this as a guideline which is more act uh, critical activity I have here so now we created the required formula we added the data to the tables we want to prepare the sheet for printing now to prepare this sheet for printing we need to delete first thing just delete the unnecessary columns and rows and we have to identify the page paper size whether it is portal or landscape portrait or landscape and we just click ok my best way of uh, uh, preparing a sheet for printing I'm just telling the Excel show me page break preview and I'm start adjusting it like this so this is what will be printed now I can view normal and I can from here show print per view this is my excel sheet and how it look like let's see if we change the page direction if we change the page direction to landscape I think it will fit better so I need just to increase this one and increase this one and increase this width as well until it is near to the dotted line you see this dotted line here we want to make it fit better okay and from here we can adjust as well we can see the print per view which is more perfect now okay one more thing to do before printing any excel sheet or any worksheet i am intentionally put some uh, spelling wrong here in the activity name what i am highly recommending before you print any excel sheet just go to the review and check your spelling see here the column is wrong i'll change it i change it again masonry is wrong i'll change it work works and instead of works I type worker so I change it again I change this work and that's it now my sheet is ready for printing and don't miss to re from review tab to make the spelling check is very important to have a professional report without any typing mistakes and this was the last uh, step in our lesson perform the last step what I should do before printing thank you very much I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I will see you in the next lesson